compressor. So at the top of the compressor, we've got the discharge line, and then we have TH4, and then we have at the top there, we've got the actual shell casing temperature, so giving you an idea of the actual external temperature of the compressor, and on the suction line, so this is the pipework coming back into the compressor, we've got a little accumulator in there, and that's just protecting the compressor to make sure we've only ever got vapour going from there, getting drawn from the top of there, off into the actual compressor. And there we can see connection there for measuring that temperature as the refrigerant comes back to the compressor. When the Ecodan unit's in standby, so it's not doing any work at this moment in time, what it's actually going to do is going to look after that compressor inside of here. So every 30 minutes, it has a look and sees that the shell temperature on top of that compressor is 21 degrees. If it's below that, it puts power through one of the windings on the compressor and enough to make a little bit of vibration there so you may hear a buzzing noise it's using that to warm up the bottom of the compressor to separate that refrigerant and oil so, so when it's doing nothing you still may get a little bit of vibration out of the actual compressor